guys, it's Allie from Allie's Best, and today we are going to make a DIY bow hair accessory organizer. This video is in collaboration with the DIY Mommies January DIY Organization and Decor Series. I'll leave a link to her channel and the playlist below so you can watch everyone's organizing videos. If you guys follow me on Instagram or know anything about me, you know I am obsessed with dressing my daughter and all of her outfits have to come with a bow. Let's get into it. Let me show you how her boys bows are organized right now and what we're working with. Okay, here's basically what we are working with. This is a mirror that I had my eye on for a little while at a second hand store right near our house. And we thought that we could kind of like clean up the mirror part. So we unscrewed and ripped out the mirror and found out like, I wish I had pictures of it, but I don't. The damage of the mirror was like really inside it. It was a really old mirror and there was just no saving it. So we ended up with this $30 wood frame and I didn't know what to do with it until I started collecting headbands for my daughter. Um, this is like my current organization system for headbands and three more come in each month, plus like some I hope to make and things like that. So I just figure like, honestly, like this one isn't working so well, obviously. So I needed something different. So what I'm gonna do this is all a little bit messy. It'll look nice when it's done. But what I'm gonna do is we have extra paint left over from this DIY. So I think what we're gonna do is paint that mirror piece with um, this paint, the same paint color, and then attach it to the wall here and then use some strings and some clips and we're gonna hang up the headbands. Recently, I got a bow subscription for her. So every month we get three bows from Little Poppy Co. And um, it's amazing, it's totally worth it. In fact, if you are thinking about getting your little one a bow subscription, I have a $5 off link below. So it's like a code where you get $5 off and I get $5 off and it's great. So I highly recommend clicking down there if you're interested in getting some bows for your little girl. Okay, that's the first coat. It definitely is gonna need more than one. I wish I had a roller, but I only have brushes right now. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry and probably come out here in the evening um, once my husband is home and do another coat. Okay, I just painted the second layer. It looks a lot like painting a first layer, but I realized like the paper is sticking all around the sides. It'll be something we fix in the morning. I gotta get inside of paint on my feet, paint on my hands. Um, so we'll fix this up in the morning before we move on. Good morning. It looks pretty good. There's like, I missed, wait, wait. I missed some of this side. Um, but I'm not sure I even wanna touch that up right now because it's gonna go against a wall. So I don't think anything really has to be perfect. So like I said before, we removed the old mirror from this frame and it left behind a bunch of like nails and screws. So I just tied the rope around the nails that were already there to make the lines for storage. All right, clearly everything needs to get cleaned up, but I'm thinking that like this outer bendy frame, while it was cute for that mirror, I feel like it's too much of that green color I think what I wanna do is I'm actually just gonna hang this up as a frame by itself and then I'm gonna ditch the shapely part. So we just grabbed some screw eyes at the hardware store and I screwed it into a hole that already existed on the back of the frame. After that, I tightened both the screws on each side of the frame with the scissors and then pressed the frame into the wall to leave a mark so I knew exactly where I needed to screw in my hooks. And honestly, we just made these hooks out of widened screw eyes. It was really easy, and then we hung the whole thing on the wall. Okay, so it's looking really plain right now, 
but I think once I put some bows on it, it will look really cute. This bow collection is just full of so many different things. I have gifts from students, handmade bows from friends and family, and of course at the bottom I have my little Poppy Co. bows um, that we get monthly that I'm obsessed with. I honestly just get so inspired by all her bows and headbands and it's part of all the fun we have getting dressed in the morning and I just love being able to see them displayed this way. Okay guys, that's our organizer. There is so much space for us to grow with her bows. I'm so excited. I just can't wait for her February bows to come in in, in the mail. It's just like a huge highlight for me. Um, it's like one of the ways I feel like I really get to bond with her is dressing her. So. I'm obsessed with it. All right, guys, again, remember that this is a collab with the DIY Mommy. So please go check out the playlist with all the other people who made an organizing video for this January. And if you are over here from the DIY Mommy, hi, you guys, I would love to have you here. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.